Hello everyone and welcome to Lobo Jototoku and today we have our first Reveal Tech Evangelion Bootleg Review! But first, let's start that intro. So let's start to check our figure. Now, it brings a good amount of accessories, but let me start with the stand. Now, it's the Rival Tech stand that most of the new Avas come with. Ah, but this one has a lot of extra plastic in a lot of parts. And I can fix it with a precision knife that I use for model kits, so it's not that big of a deal, but. Yeah, it does come with these problems. Now, the figure itself um, is actually a very good looking figure. Um, I believe it is very close to the original one, but I do see that some of the paint application is not as detailed, especially on the face. Like, the mouth and eyes just don't seem as well painted as the original one. Uh, but it's not too bad, and you can see there are some paint bleeding in some parts but overall it is okay by the way let me add that this Reveal Tech EVA 01 final form is not actually part of the anime it's something that Reveal Tech reimagined so it's an original design but it's a very good looking design uh, and it can stand on its own even though you do have to position him well enough now for accessories we got ourselves our instruction manual that tells us everything that the figure comes with. I already checked and it seems that everything is here. We have this special sword, uh, three different pair of hands besides the fist hands that it brings in there, these wing light effects, an effect part that I'm not sure for what it is, a uh, part that I think you should connect with the gun, and the rifle itself. Uh, and we do have some instructions on how to connect a lot of these parts together and I gotta say some of it can be a little bit confusing but not too bad uh, now we have our sword it is very well painted and it looks very good I definitely like the paint application that they used and I am happy with it, even though I think it's a weird design. We have then these light parts, and the light effect parts are very good, but we have some dents in some of the parts here, maybe I can send it off, but it does have that effect, and then we have a Reval Tech joint here to connect to this back, the same in the other one, and again we have some of those defects there in the connection and a little bit here on the blade too let me see if i can focus yeah a little bit here i'll try to send that off and we got ourselves our rifle that looks very good actually some paint bleeding here and there but barely noticeable uh, then we have this weird, weird part that I think connects to the figure and then connects to the stand so we can pose him in some aerial poses. Let's see if we can hold later on. We have, I guess, an extra joint here. I don't know which joint this is. And I don't even know if the joint actually works. It doesn't seem like it is a joint at all. It doesn't seem to move. But I'm not sure and I'm not going to force it. But it brings this. And it's actually not listed in the instruction manual. We have then these two parts that I am not sure where I should connect. At least not yet. And they have the Nerf logo. Uh, kind of weird. I don't know if it is supposed to be this way. Because this one uh, has in this side the Nerf Japanese. And here it's actually the opposite way. I hope this is not a defect. I will check later. Then I, we have these two parts that I believe are sh shoulder parts. Uh, one of them actually has a couple of too much bleeding 
here and you can see that there are problems on the paint application of it especially this one bothers me this one i can fix easily the numbered one will be a little bit more hard but i will try this one uh, is actually much better and doesn't have that much bleeding and then we get this part and i actually think this part is defective let's see if i can focus here i think this is not supposed to be this long because here in the instruction manual you can see there it shouldn't be this long so this is definitely i believe a defect because this part is supposed to connect to the rifle and i don't think it can connect like this but i'm not sure i need to check uh yeah is this supposed to connect here and it doesn't because it's, it's too much it's too god damn much so i need to probably cut this but i don't know if i'm going to be able to cut this at the right spot so first big defect of this figure now for hands we do have the fist hands that he brings it with him and it's gonna fall down we have these two pose hands i guess the hands are well painted uh, but there are some bleeding there i can fix that easily with some black paint but there is some bleeding of the purple where it should be black but it's not that noticeable we have two weapon grabby hands and again i see some bleeding on these hands the paint application is a little bit sloppy but the hands are not too bad at all i hope they grab the things well enough and then we have two let's call them open hands and is there some bleeding too actually this one doesn't have that much bleeding but again the paint application is a bit sloppy and that's all the figure comes with now let's talk about the figure itself uh, it is a very good looking figure overall but again there are some spots with the Paint application on this KO is a little bit sloppy, not too much noticeable at a distance. I think the face here lacks a little bit of the detail that the original has in some spots, but it's not too bad. Not too bad. I like some of the shading and paint job that is done on this figure overall. I like the design, even though I'm a big fan of the original design, but this design is okay, I guess. It has some really cool proportions and it reminds me a little bit of the metal build <laughs> that has come out recently even though of course it's not at the same category but I do like the looks of it even though it's not an original one from the series now let me give you a friendly advice to exchange hands uh, you may need to warm up the joint a little bit with some heat from a blow dryer it may help you better remove and connect the joint without breaking it because remember sometimes they come very tight and this is not the highest quality plastic you will ever find now these little parts here are for the legs you have a small joint there and I could not pop it in in the beginning so I had to heat it up um, because the hole was very tight so I needed to loosen it up a little bit to be able to connect so I was able to connect after using some heat and it looks very good it looks cool and you can adjust that little position with that Revoltech joint there now uh, these little shoulder parts just connect to this uh, peg here but I gotta tell you uh, they just come with the top part a little bit crooked and uh, you can try to fix it uh, but yeah, it's one of the defects of this figure. It's not a big one, but it definitely it should not be like that. Now, these little Revoltech joints here, you connect to holes in the back to give you the wings. Uh, it's an easy connection to do. It's not one of the worst ones. But I gotta tell you, a lot of parts of the wings do fall off very easily. So be careful. And we are starting to have our figure full of the accessories and it's looking very good now connecting the hands so to put our hand to hold the sword let's just slide it in and then try a little bit there you go oh my god I have wing falling off now 
And another wing falling off. Uh, but there we go, we have our sword. And now connecting the hand to the gun. Uh, you can see it connects very well, but it's not easy and you may need some help from some tweakers, at least I did. Because again, this is not very easy. You need to first put this in the palm and slide the first finger inside that cavity. But the problem is the trigger finger. You need to start pulling it on until it reaches the second cavity because otherwise it will go below like the rest of the hand and then you basically start adjusting until the hand fits perfectly and it's a very good looking rifle it fits very well in his hands but again putting it in can be a little bit tricky but it's okay not the worst connection i think the sword is a little bit harder to put on now one detail I forgot to mention about the sword, this little handle came a little bit too loose. You can again put it on, but maybe super glue it will be the option. Now you can use this little handle also to hold the sword. You use the same grabby hands to grab that handle and it'll, it will actually hold pretty well. In my case I had some hard time because of course of that problem on the handle where it is loose, but if it is good and fixed it should hold with no problem at all and it looks okay with this option it's a cool little detail that they have it okay so let's take a look at our last two accessories let's remove these wing parts and let's reconnect that one that came off, straighten out his legs. We're trying to reproduce a uh, pose in the figure using the stand and this little accessory for the stand. Now, I am having doubts if this is actually going to be able to hold the figure, but we'll try, won't we? And uh, let's remove this, it adds unnecessary weight to it. And put a normal hand, straighten the figure out, and connect to his back. Will it hold? Uh, it's coming off. Will it hold? No. Oh. Okay, the arms just doesn't seem to have enough strength. And the connection there is actually a little bit loose too. And it just keeps falling off. Okay, so I used the screwdriver to tighten up a little bit these joints on that stand. And guess what? now it holds so again this plug is very loose but again see it holds the figure perfectly so now you can use this to get some flying poses of the figure and it is a very good detail but again fix this tan and finally before moving on to articulation we have a last accessory to talk about that little part that i told you that it is too long it should connect to this rifle in the top position so you can then connect it to his back like storing the rifle on his back. It is a great idea and it is a very fun idea but unfortunately again the little accessory came defective. So it's not without flaw. Now I actually had to send it off and we need to remove a little part there so you can connect now this little guy. Uh, it's upside down and it should connect like this but unfortunately I don't seem to have hit the right cut because it's still not reaching it uh, I can't now it's it is connecting to the rifle with the cut that I did but it's not uh, still reaching that little top part and that's a little bit sad after many attempts I managed to put it in but uh, it is very loose and probably is going to fall off very soon and there you go but it is possible but I'll definitely count that as a defect for the figure. And now comes the interesting part, let your fingers get in there and have a good old rubber dub. Figured for totally formless, look at the articulation. We have a ball joint in the head and a ball joint in the neck. Uh, now, what is going on inside here? There's more going on inside, but I'm not really sure. I think it's a ball joint to a peg and then a 
a ball joint to a peg again, but it gives you great range of motion, a big improvement in relation to the ones that have Revoltec joints. Revoltec joints are great, but not for everything, and I like this change. Now, this big part here, it's actually also in a Revoltec joint, so it moves around, and this little part here comes off, I'll show you later for what. We have two Revoltec joints right now for these wing parts that we just connected, and you can see they can separate individually from each other. Uh, now, these parts here are also in Revoltec joints, small Revoltec joints, and these are just hinged. Now, for the shoulders, we have very clicky Revoltec joints, just like the originals. Really great. I like Revoltec joints for shoulders, I gotta say. I actually still love the Figma system better, but Revoltec joints do a great job. We have a Revoltec joint, not as clicky, for the arm, and another one for the hands, and these ones look a little bit fragile, so be careful. Then we have a Revoltec joint on the waist, just a single one, and it gives you great crunch, great leaning back, side to side action. It's a great joint for waist, even though I still prefer ball joints. Uh, let's see what we have here more. We have these Revoltec joints here for this leg parts, allow you to get this out of the way. And I believe we have different joints here. It's not the classic system that we've seen before. I believe we have actually two ball joints this time. Two ball joints for legs. That's amazing. Very happy to see that. Uh, now, it does look like we have some leg swivel here, but looks to be too tight, so I'm not sure if I can actually swivel this or not, but it looks like it, but I wouldn't risk it, I gotta say, and I also don't see any actual use for that, because we do have some leaning on top of that, and we have Rival Tech Joint, also very clicky on the knee, and we have a small one on this guard part. The very low key, but it helps you adjust. The figure can kick back very far and forward very far. And the spread is very decent for the figure it, that it is, but not too far. Now we do have a rival tech joint on the foot. Very hard to pivot this one. Now toe bend. We do have a toe bend. But it's actually very stuck. I need to apply some more heat to try to loosen it up because right now it's not working. And I see a lot of this happening in the chaos where that articulation doesn't work. And I think I'm not forgetting anything. It is a very good articulated figure. I do love all of the articulation that it does. Revoltech Evangelion 2.2 EVA 02 Bandai High Grade Model Kit EVA 00 Robot Damashi Darling in the Franks Delphinium Bandai High Grade Pacific Rim Uprising Gypsy Avenger Hassage Figure Arts Lupin the Third Figma Re Zero Ram Overall, this is not a bad KO. It is very good looking, it has some small paint problems, but not too distracting. The articulation is well done. It brings a lot of accessories, and for the price, I'm giving it my low budget Otaku seal of approval. It is not perfect, it has some defects, but all of them are mostly fixable with some work. So, do I think it's worth it? Yeah, I do. I hope you enjoyed the review, it was a bigger review than usual, but this video has a lot of things to talk about. Next week I will have a lot more content to give you guys, probably Sunday I'll still make another video, but it will be a low budget of the cute news. There are some interesting things coming out soon. And we're almost at the end, so don't forget to leave a like, 
subscribe if you haven't, hit the little bell icon. You can find more information on the description below and playlists to amazing videos for you to watch. And also a link for the Patreon account if you want to help out the channel. Tell me what you think about this figure in the comment section below. See you next time. Do it! Just...